This is the new junk journal playbook and workbook version number 22 and this one is Uplifting Gina. Firstly, what I'm going to do uh, to start the junk or journal of the project is I am going to pull papers from my stash, scrapbook papers, envelopes, junk mail, anything that I can repurpose and reuse. This is the journal page layout guide. And I'm going to get a pencil if I can. Let's do this. Um, so basically what I have chosen this template to be, I can choose it to be any of these that I want. Um, but it's going to be this one because it's going to have that paper around it. So this one's the one I'm going to choose. It's going to be double, mostly pages, so I may go with this uh, for the double page base pockets. Like put a pocket here and then a pocket here. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. And I'm going to begin. So my cover, I'm not necessarily for sure what I'll be doing on the cover. I do know um, that I probably will layer up the tabs and so I'm gonna have probably I always like to put a pocket in the front I'm probably gonna have a, a tie up uh, one of those uh, half page pull out pockets here and underneath that I'm gonna have a pocket right there's gonna be a pocket here and small tag then this is going to flip, so this is going to be a flip, this is going to be a pocket. And then I'm probably going to have the other half page uh, flip on this side. So this is going to be a flip, kind of flip out to get the pocket. So that's kind of what I want the front to be, okay? Um, and then the spine outside, uh, it's going to have a um, just a sheet, a cover, it's going to have the yellow roses on it. Just a, just the regular paper. The inside cover, I always like to do a pocket here in the inside cover um, to add a welcome, you know, a letter, welcome note, or whatever. Then on the back, I like to add a half pocket in the back. This is the inside cover, so it's you know you open it's the inside. I always like to have a pocket here as well. And the back cover, um, I usually, sometimes I'll put a pocket, like on the very edge of it here. Because if you, you know, if you move these a lot. And then I like to put an artist label here. Alright, that's my go-to. Now the first page, um, usually I'm going to have, I will have a, on this first page here, I will have one of those flip out pockets like so I wanted to have both and then I'll have a pocket underneath as well so this will be a flip out flip out and then this will be a pocket underneath and then I can keep on going until you know until I'm done with all the pages so that's basically my first thinking this could change so I can erase it at any time um, I'm going to find my cardboard template here. Now some people want to do their signatures first. Um, some people do not like to do their cover for, you know, make their cover first. I like to make my cover first because I want it to dry in time for me to build upon. Okay, so I'm just building the basic cover let it dry and then I can build upon that cover and, and do the things that I need. So, um, yeah, I'm just doing the front and back cover. I'm not doing the spine because the spine will be attached to paper, you know, it'll be attached to something else. So, um, it's going to be a little bit different. This, this journal is, it's not just making a basic cover. Uh, we're going to be making a text block with our pages, and then we are going to be, um, then we're, we will, add our cover. So we're going to be making a text block first. 
Now, because I'm going to make the text, um, the text block. So I'm going to be making a text block, and then I'm going to be putting uh, the papers together in a spine and, and all that kind of thing. Um, so first of all, I want to get my cover template, and this is my cover template. So um, I do need the cover template a little bit bigger than my pages, and it is. So it's all designed to fit together. So I can choose to do cardstock, or I can choose to do cereal board or some type of repackaging. And I don't think this is big enough. No, nope, that one's not big enough. So we cannot use the little Debbie one. <laughs> cannot use that one. So what I can do, if I don't have a cereal board, then I will um, just glue two pieces of cardstock together. That way that gives me enough um, thickness that I need. If I want more thickness, I can layer up junk mail and things like that, right? Here I am putting three layers of cardstock for each side, and then I'm going to trace my template and then begin to cut it out. And this is the cardboard template for the cover. Now that I have both my front and back cover pieces of three layers of cardstock, I'm going to layer it up with the design paper. And if you notice here, I am only folding the edges over. I will not be cutting any edges. I will not be mitering the corners. You do not have to do that on these pieces. As you can see here, I have just folded it over on the edges, all four edges first, and then went in to do the sides. It's kind of like a package, like a gift wrapping type. So this is what the method that I like to use so that I do not mess up and miter the corners wrong. So I'm going to make sure that I have both my front and back cover covered in the uh, background paper for both the front and back cover. I'm just making sure that all my edges are down, making sure that all my folds are creased and the glue is adhering well. I may use a second glue. You can. I am just use this glue just for the cover because I'm going to be uh, adding to the cover adding more embellishments and more layers on top of it and things like that. So I am doing the back cover now, as you can see, and I'm just making sure that my folded edges line up together so that they will be um, straight and the cover will be cohesive around the back side. Of course, it's going to be all covered up, but I just want to make sure that all those edges are glued down good and that um, I'm giving it ample time to dry before I start uh, creating the rest of it because I need now to create the journal signatures so that I can create the uh, text block so to speak um, and create the signatures now I'm just looking through the papers finding out which ones that I need stay tuned for the next part of this junk journal playbook